Hello everybody, my name is Sergio Sigley. I'm here to share with you my experience with Local Signature and what a fantastic journey we had in experience. Let me first start off by saying what was more important to me. What was more important to me was feeling safe and secure that I was in good hands and that he was good people, kind and stuff like that that mattered to me because obviously making a big trip like this sometimes there's a lot of uncertainty and it was. I can tell you that even if he wanted to hurt a fly, he couldn't. <laughs> and the next thing after that was what impressed me was um, his ability to be able to know the animals and be able to guide us through all the different lions and elephants and rhinos and hippos and ostriches. I mean, all the wild animals we got to see. One of the things that I um, what's up? One of the things that um, that I think you won't get with other companies is I had some particular request i wanted to stop and get some coffee i wanted to go to visit a local church and um, i noticed when he was asking questions he was asking me questions he was trying to customize it and make it personal to our needs and he did from the beginning of picking us up at the airport to right now dropping us off and all the different things i would highly recommend a look signature and it really became an incredible experience so thank you <coughs> thank you so much sadio well, will you please tell us your experience about making your inquiry, how it was handled from the word go? Were you comfortable okay. with the whole process? Yeah, when I was doing the selection process, I started getting confused with all the safari companies. And it happened to be one day before Christmas when I Googled and I called. And within you know a short time frame, even though it was a holiday and everything, he responded to me and he started and I started giving him what I was hoping to do. And he started guiding me and kind of giving me ideas of what I might want to consider, but you know, based on the time frame and the budget that I wanted to do, and then customize the plan according to that. But he was very friendly and very professional and very responsive. He didn't leave me hanging and answered my questions. Awesome. Was this your first time in Africa? This is the first time in Africa. <laughs> what, what do you think about Kenya as you a know, country? Ke Kenya as a country, up to this point, I've been to 13 countries, and this is by far the most friendliest country I have ever been to. Kenyan people are just amazing. And I say that because um, we went to the city of Nairobi, people were friendly, and I'm talking not only the touristy areas, but in the average everyday Joe kind of areas where people are just normal. They're very eager to talk to you. Okay. Uh, what was the general feel of uh, doing a safari, especially being on walking safari, being on a night game drive, and uh, also visiting the Maasai village? Well, being there was my first experience, you know, um, I didn't know what to expect, so I started learning and I started changing and evolving as we went on. I didn't know much about the walking safaris. That added a, a special touch. Um, got real close to the animals. I got kind of scared because I'm not used to them, but he did a good job of putting me at ease, even with a huge elephant right outside our, our vehicle and just letting us know, just let it be and keeping us calm to be able to experience it up close. Okay. Final question. What will you tell uh, your friends and uh, other would-be tourists who would love to visit Africa? What I would say is that you won't find somebody that's going to ask you questions and customize it to the point that I found out later. Really, I feel like I just got lucky because after having a few friends gone to safaris, um, you just they take you here, there, very cold and disconnected. And at this point, I felt like um, we did listen to what we wanted to do and created a path to be able to take us to do the little things that were important to us. And even now, at the you know at the last day. We don't feel like we're just getting rushed off and dropped off and just kind of, we needed to stop and do something different, go to the bank, go here, go there. He was always very attentive and made sure our accommodations were also very um, to our liking of what we wanted to do. Lovely. Thank you so much, Sadio. It was uh, nice having you on safari and uh, we wishing you all the best with the, within the last remaining hours at the Giraffe Center and looking forward to welcoming you again in Kenya. Well, thank you. Many, many times. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. <laughs>